Hello dear students and welcome to this channel. In this video, I will talk about pharmacokinetics. Pharmacokinetics is defined as what the body does to the drug. And there are four main concepts in pharmacokinetics that we will go through them one by one. And they are as the following. The first one is the absorption. Like when the drug is administered, it will it, firstly it will go through absorption, and then it will be distributed, metabolized, and excreted. If I start with the absorption, absorption can be defined as the transfer of the drug from the site of administration, which is mainly from the mouth to the blood stream or the blood circulation. And the rate of absorption will depend on three main factors. The first one is the environment where the drug is absorbed. So it will be different if, if it is absorbed from the stomach or from the small intestine. Like it, will, it will depend on the pH of the stomach or and the intestine. Also the blood flow to that, uh, to that place that it is absorbed from. And also the contact time, like how much it has stayed on the stomach or the intestines also the absorption it will depend on the chemical characteristics of the drug and also the route of administration of the drug like how, how was it administrated and of course the oral drug administration is very different from the intravenous intravenous drugs will be absorbed directly it will not even go through absorption it will just uh, show the effect directly so this route of drug administration uh, it will affect only bioavailability which will be explaining it in that next slide so if we also discuss bioavailability in conclusion, bioavailability is like how much of the drug is administered, like how of the administered drug will reach the systemic circulation and show the, the desired effect. And factors that affect bioavailability of the drugs are fast pass hepatic metabolism. And this metabolism is like the elimination that occurs before the drug enters the systemic circulation, which will decrease the effect of that drug. Also, chemical instability and affects the bioavailability of the drugs. Like some drugs, such as penicillin G, are unstable in the pH of the gastric content. That's why it, it will be they will be dis, dis, destroyed before they enter systemic circulation. Also, the solubility of the drug and for most of the drugs to uh, for them to be absorbed, it has to be largely lipophilic, but yet it has to have some solubility in aqueous solutions. And also, finally, the nature of drug formulation can affect the rate of uh, absorption of the drug. And, and drugs, depending on their chemical properties, they can be absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract either by passive diffusion, facilitated diffusion, active transport, or endocytosis. For passive diffusion, and, it, and the drug moves from a region of high concentration to the one of lower concentration and it does not involve a carrier, it is not saturable and it shows a low structural specificity. And most of the drugs are absorbed by this mechanism. While facilitated diffusion, it does not require energy but includes a carrier that carries the drug from the high concentration area to the uh, area of lower concentration. While active transport involves a specific carrier protein that spans through the membrane and only a few drugs that resemble that the structure of natural aquarium metabolites can pass through these uh, carriers. And this uh, mechanism is energy dependent and it is capable of moving drugs against the concentration gradient from the region of low drug concentration to the one of higher drug concentration. Finally, the endocytosis mechanism is used to transport drugs of exceptional large size across cell membranes. And the way this mechanism happens is that it, it involves engulfment of the drug by the cell membrane and transport it into the cell by pinching off the drug field physical. That was all for today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel.